Nate the Great and the Missing Key by Marjorie Weinman Sharman. I, Nate the Great, am a detective. I am not afraid of anything, except for one thing. Today, I am going to a birthday party for the one thing I am afraid of, Annie's dog, Fang. This morning, my dog Sludge and I were getting ready for the party. The doorbell rang. I opened the door. Annie and Fang were standing there. Fang looked bigger than ever, and so did his teeth. But he looked like a birthday dog. He was wearing a stupid sweater and a new collar. I need help, Annie said. I can't find the key to my house, so I can't get inside to have the birthday party for Fang. I, Nate the Great, was sorry about the key and glad about the party. I said, tell me about your key. Well, Annie said, the last time I saw it, was when I went out to get Fang a birthday surprise to eat. To eat? I said. Yes, Annie said. Some surprise food. It's the one present I had forgotten to buy. I got Fang lots of presents. A striped sweater and a new collar with a license number, a name tag, a little silver dog dish and a little silver bone to hang from the collar. See how pretty Fang looks, and hear how nicely he jingles? I, Nate the Great, did not want to look at Fang, or listen to him. Tell me more, I said. Well, Rosamond and her four cats were at my house, Annie said. She was helping me get ready for the party. When I went to the store, I left Rosamond and the cats in my house. I left Fang in the yard. I left the key to my house on a table. That is the last time I saw the key. When I got back, Fang was still in the yard. But the house was locked, and Rosamond and her cats were gone. Rosamond left this note stuck to my front door. Your key can be found at a place that is round, a place that is safe and where things are shiny, a place that is big because it's not tiny, and this is a poem, and I went home. That is a strange poem, I said. Sometimes Rosamond is strange, Annie said. I, Nate the Great, already knew that. You must go to Rosamond's house and ask her where she put your key, I said. I went to her house, Annie said, but it was locked too. I rang the bell, but no one was home. This is a big day for Rosamond and locked doors, I said. Who else has a key to your house? My mother and father. But they went out for the day. They don't like dog parties. Annie said, I, Nate the Great, knew that dog parties are very easy not to like. But I said, I will take your case. I wrote a note to my mother. Annie Fang, Sludge, and I went to Annie's house. What does your key look like? I asked. Dear Mother, I am on a case. I am looking for a round, safe, shiny, big place. I do not know where or who, what a round, safe, shiny, big place is, but when I find it, I will be back. Love, Nate the Great. It is silver and shiny, Annie said. Sludge and I looked around. 
there were many places to leave a key. Under Annie's doormat, in her flower garden, up her drain pipe, in her mailbox. But they weren't, they were not round, safe, shiny, and big. I will have to look in other places, I said. Fang and I will wait for you here, Annie said. I, Nate the Great, was glad to hear that. Sludge and I went to Oliver's house. Oliver is a pest, but I had a case to solve. I had a job to do. I knew that Oliver collects shiny things, like tin cans, safety pins, badges, poison ivy, and pictures of the sun. Each week he collects one new shiny thing. Perhaps this week it was a key. Did Rosamond leave a shiny key with you in a big, round, safe place? I asked. No, Oliver said. This is not my key week. This is my week for shiny eels. Would you like to see my new eel? I... Nate the Great did not want to see a new eel, or an old eel. I started to leave. May I follow you? Oliver asked. No, I said. I will help you look for the key, Oliver said. All right, I said. When I go east, you go west. When I go south, you go north. But we won't be together, Oliver said. Exactly, I said. Sludge and I left Oliver's house. I did not look back. I knew what I would see. Oliver. I, Nate the Great, was busy thinking and looking. All at once I saw a big safe place. A bank. I knew there were many round, shiny things in a bank, like pennies and nickels and dimes and quarters. Sludge and I walked inside. Oliver followed us. Sludge and I looked on desks and behind counters. Then we crawled on the floor. If Rosamond had been here, there would be cat hairs all over the floor. I saw paper clips and a broken pen and a penny and mud and a bank guard, first his feet, then the rest of him. Do you want to make a deposit? he asked. I, Nate the Great, wished I could deposit Oliver in the bank. I said, did anyone strange with four cats leave a key here? The guard pointed to the door. Sludge and I left. Now I, Nate the Great, knew where I should not look for the key. A bank was not a strange enough place for a strange person like Rosamond to leave a key. I had to think of a strange plate. I thought of a kitchen. Bottles of syrup, hunks of butter and stacks of pancakes. It was not a strange place, but it was a good place to think of, because I, Nate the Great, was hungry. It was time for lunch. Sludge and I started for home. I felt something breathing on the back of my neck. I turned around. It was Oliver. I will follow you forever, Oliver said. I, Nate the Great, knew that forever was far too long to be followed by Oliver. Sludge and I started to run. We ran down the street, up a hill, around five corners, and into an alley. We lost Oliver. I sat down to rest beside a garbage can. Sludge sniffed it. Sludge likes garbage cans. I stared at the can. 
I had an idea. A garbage can would be a perfect place for Rosamond to hide a key. It was big and round and shiny with a shiny cover and shiny handles. It was safe because no one would look inside a garbage can, except Sludge. And it was a very strange place for a key. Strange enough for Rosamond. There were not many places like that. Now I, Nate the Great, knew that I had to look in Annie's garbage can. Sludge and I walked to the garbage can behind Annie's house. We bent low. I did not want Annie to see me until I found the key in her garbage can. Then I would surprise her. I tried to pull up the cover. Sludge tried to push up the cover with his nose. I pulled harder. Sludge pushed harder. The cover came off. We looked inside the can. It was empty. I, Nate the Great, had not solved the case. Sludge and I slunk home. I was very hungry. I gave Sludge a bone. I made many pancakes. I sat down to eat them, but I did not have a fork. I opened a drawer. It was full of spoons and knives and forks all together in a shiny silver pile. I had to pick up many spoons and knives before I found a fork. It is hard to find something silver and shiny when it is mixed in with the other things that are silver and shiny. I, Nate the Great, thought about that. Maybe Annie's key was some place where nobody would see it because it was with other shiny silver things. A strange place, a round place, a big place, a safe place. And now I, Nate the Great, knew the place. Sludge and I went back to Annie's house. Annie was sitting in front with, flat, with Fang. She looked sad. Fang looked big. I ran up to Annie. I know where your key is, I said. Where? Annie asked. Look at Fang's collar, I said. Annie looked. I see Fang's name tag hanging from his collar, she said, and his license, and his silver dog dish, and his silver bone, and... My key! Yes, I said. I, Nate the Great, say that Rosamond hung your key from Fang's collar. We did not notice it because there were other silver things there. But why did Rosamond hang it there? Annie asked. Well, it is a very strange place, I said. And remember Rosamond's poem? A round place, a big and safe place, where things are shiny? Well, Fang's collar is round. The things hanging from it are shiny. Fang is big and safe. There is no place more safe to leave a key than a few inches from Fang's teeth. No one would try to take off that key, including me. I started to leave. Wait, Annie said. She took the key from Fang's collar. Now I can have my party, and you can come. 